Hello humans, welcome back to Dr. Rose Helps You Hear. Today we're going to be talking about wax filters, aka wax traps, things that block wax from getting into the speaker of your hearing aids. So first I'm going to go over several different kinds, then I'm going to do individual videos. So you can find those individual videos on my channel for your respective maker. Welcome back to Dr. Rose Helps You Hear. Right now I'm gonna talk about the older Phonak receiver and canal hearing aids. This is a rechargeable version. And then also the ReSound receiver and canal hearing aids. This also works for Widex receiver and canal hearing aids. These two types of filters are exactly the same. And in the Phonak one, it's called a Saru Stop. There's the name. This is for, for all of the Belong products, and it gives you a nice little cartoon here. Uh, and this one doesn't really show you how to take off the dome. This is actually showing you a filter change on an in-the-ear hearing aid or an ear mold that's custom. So I'm going to show you the dome version right now. But I also just want to quickly show you that the ReSound version of this has a fatter stick compared to the Phonak version and the Widex version, which are exactly the same, but the filter itself is the same. Okay, let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go, a little bit better there, right there. So those are exactly the same. You can interchange these, but I don't recommend it. Try to stick with the maker and the type that is for your hearing aid. So that's the Phonak, that's the ReSound. So again, to take off this dome, we're gonna try to grip most of the dome and not tear from one little side. This is the Phonak hearing aid. We're gonna peel that off. We're gonna take the black end of this filter, black end first, we're gonna push it into that white tip. We're gonna push and then pull it out, turn it over to the new one and push and then press to make sure it's seated well. Last part, we're gonna aim for the center of that dome where the circle is and insert the top here, go right over the top, push down, give it a few little nice presses and then a nice tug test here to make sure it's on there good and it's not gonna fly off in your ear. You can also visually inspect that you've made it to the end of that shiny speaker with the black silicone there. And that, that's the Phonak. For the ReSound, I specifically chose this uh, dome because it's called a tulip dome and it's very easy to tear these. So you want to peel these petals up. And get a nice grip on the base of that dome before you pull. And now it's off and I haven't torn the dome, yay. Then you get your stick, your filter stick. And we're going to push and pull, turn it over to the new one, push and pull, press to seat. Then you're going to take your tulip dome or whatever dome you have. I like to bend these inside out so I can really see that circle where I'm headed and push this all the way down. This one you got to kind of work it. Don't be afraid of it. That silicone is really stretchy and it's kind of uh, it causes a lot of friction when it's going on something metal. But again, you can do a visual inspection to make sure you made it to the end and meeting that speaker box. And then just a tiny tug test, not as vigorous here because these pedals, we don't want to tear them off. So that is your Phonak and Resound filter change. Music